Morning, it is breakfast time and or snack time and I wanted to just show you um, how I do baked banana boats and this can be a great breakfast and it can also be an excellent snack but it's fantastic for dinner too. So I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to do this morning and then you can change it for your own needs. So all I have for today is the two breakfast or the two bananas for my boys. I have some of my homemade granola and I have some frozen blueberries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the bananas, lay them on the side, cut off the end, and then I'm just going to peel back this part of it. And then I like to use my corn more and we're going to take out a part of the banana. Now you can go as deep as you want. The deeper you go, the more, in, the more fillings you can put in there. And then you can eat the banana right away or you can put it in your smoothies later. A little bit more. Okay, so once that is, actually I'm gonna make a bigger well. It's a really big banana. And my boys, are good eaters. Okay, so now that I have the well, I'm sprinkling in some of my homemade granola. Now, this is their breakfast, part of their breakfast. So, that's why I'm doing the granola. And then I'm just going to do a few of the blueberries in there on top. So there's one done. Going to do the other one really quick. Remember to lay the banana on its side. When I do this at cooking parties, always happens somebody peels it like this. And obviously, a banana can't stand like that. So make sure it is on its side. Now, if you want to do this for a dessert, or you want something sweeter in your banana, um, you can put bits of graham cracker in here, you can do um, toasted coconut, you can do fresh strawberries cut up, raspberries, chocolate chips. Oh man, the, you know, the variations are endless. And it really is up to you what you put in here, any fruit, any nuts, um, so you can do a s'mores one, you can do a German chocolate one with the, the chocolate and the coconut and things like that. And then you're going to put it in your grill pan. Any of our cookware is oven safe. So you have my grill pan here. Um, I'm going to take the handle off. So can, if, can you see, can you make sure that you see the handle? We're good to go? Okay, so small button in, pull back, lift off. When you're ready to take it out of the oven, you do small button, pull back, going at an angle, and this is how I'm going to put it in the oven. It's going to go in at 350, and it's going to go in for about 10 to 12 minutes to kind of eyeball it. Um, if you are doing graham crackers, chocolate chips, and mini marshmallows for a s'mores baked banana, definitely keep your eye on those marshmallows so that they don't get too toasty. You can put it in the oven for longer than the 12 minutes if you want a softer banana. However, most people, my family included, prefer their banana to, not be, to be not as mushy and to still have some firmness to it. So we're just going to warm it up and I will show you a picture when we're done.